Hi, this is Yuri Rybits from Global Composers Network and today we have a sample library review for you. A closer look at the Spitfire Chamber Strings Professional is coming right up, so stay tuned. Spitfire Chamber Strings Professional is a sample string library that focuses on providing you with a great variety of options when it comes to smaller, chamber-sized string orchestras. The Professional version, which we are reviewing today, provides additional microphone positions called CTAO. C stands for Close, T for Decatry, A for Ambient, and O for Outrigger microphone positions, each position further from the player. As you'll be able to hear in a moment, these microphone positions have a drastic effect on the sound, and mixing them together gives you an amount of control never possible before. So let's have a listen to the track, and then we'll go through some of the patches and have a look at what the different mic positions sound like within different articulations so you get a better idea of what the library really sounds like. I really tried to make use of the different articulations that come with this library. It's one of its main advantages, even even though I've only had it for a few weeks, it's found its way into quite a few of my tracks, which are linked below in the description. Let's start by going to the first track. I'll solo it, and then I'll change the mic positions and mix between them. Notice the amount of focus that the close mics give, and then the amount of space that the outer microphone positions bring to the sound. It's very noticeable with short strings just how changing a mic position a little bit can get you the sound you're looking for. Let's go away from the short strings for a minute and check out some long strings next. This is a viola section. I mostly use this for filling out the chords throughout the track.
For Legato sections, I tried various options the library offers for Legato. Of course, all of these options are available not just for each individual section, but also for all the different mic positions as well. After some testing and A-Bing, I decided the one I really liked was the finger legato one. So I recorded the cello section for the melody, which in the second part is joined by the second violence, but in portamento legato, giving it an even more realistic sound. Let's have a listen. Now let's listen to just the second violence. I also added some short celli and basses. Have a listen to the dynamic range of the colenos on the celli and the rhythmic quality they add to the track. This becomes more apparent when we hear the track in its entirety at the end again. Adding legato celli and basses fills out the lower section and together with violas provides an amazing ground for the melodies to play on. I wanted to add some rhythmic pulsing here, so I dug through the presets of violence and found that the second violence picados in CTA Omics really give the rhythmic sound that I was looking for. I added some notes in and added their velocity until I just got the right dynamics. Let's switch between the different mic positions as well to see the effect it has on this articulation. One of the most fun parts of the Spitfire Chamber Strings Professional is the amount of effects patches that come with each section. I found myself using many of these in the tracks in the description, but I also use them here in this track. What I particularly liked about them is that they are musically useful, for example for adding a build-up part or enriching a particular section, like this.
So when we put it all together, it sounds like this. this video gave you a little bit more insight into how useful this library truly is. For me personally, it's now the main strings library I go to, and not just for chamber strings, but for pretty much anything. So I can say with some confidence that the people considering chamber strings professional to be their only string library should definitely go for it. They'll find an incredible variety of sounds that will go well with pretty much anything you can imagine in terms of a good professional string sound. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, join the Global Composers Network group on Facebook, and visit our website, globalcomposersnetwork.net. Thanks.